and welcome back everyone. This month we have actually two months worth of pickups. I didn't get around to doing August, now we are September 1st. We got Batman fever going on in the background. It's almost time for spooky season back here. And uh, start, start off with some uh, not so much gaming pickups. I actually went, went over uh, to the theater and there was a, a, a real live one night auction going on. Somebody selling uh, comics for the Deadpool Wolverine, uh, Deadpool movie coming out. So he was actually selling some uh, Deadpool comics. I actually got these first hand. It was funny, I bought them right there, but I had to wait for them to ship them because how whatnot works. But yeah, so I actually picked up a couple of De Deadpool comics. I got a couple of issues. I got this one here. Pirate Pool, basically. Got a, kind of the Knights of the Round Table kind of thing. With Deadpool in it. I've got another one here. Pretty. Uh, Wizard number zero, free issue, whatever it is. Also got a. Uh, oh. Another one also. I don't know what happened to it. It had like uh, one of the um, free combo day comics. But anyway. Got a little Best Buy deal. They had their $10 deals. I only got one thing this year. I almost got. Uh, not see at these. I almost got. Skull and Bones. I was like, eh, I was only feeling it, but ten bucks, I probably should have dumped on it. I'm just kind of over the whole online only kind of game because if you don't play it, you're kind of screwed. The server's gonna end. But I got this one here, so I figure what ten bucks. I'll, I'll buy some uh, almost a Swift a Switch game, the old Nintendo Switch. This is a fitness boxing with Fist of the North Star. Yes, that Fist of the North Star, which is kind of weird take on it. So, yeah. Fighting game, fitness game, so that was different. I've got my uh, one more thing. It's game related, but not games. I said it exactly, but I got this for a Hallmark this year. This is our. This is my. Um, this is my 2024 ornament for the for this year. It's the OG Xbox from Hallmark, and it's cool is. It doesn't line up, but it plays the actual start up with Halo theme song when you push the button. Really cool. So now I've got I've got this. Last year was Dreamcast, and also I have what is it? Um, I got them over there still. At least with the Genesis and the N Nintendo. Can't see Nintendo, so they're chugging them. Right along, they don't have any Sony ones yet. They don't have the 360, probably the next one I'm really looking forward to. They ever have that one come out, but yeah, it's a really cool one. I mean, this you see that, what do you think instantly? It's what Halo, and for me, it's uh, getting online with Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. I was hooked once I started playing Ghost Recon online. Man, that was like a game changer. I was literally night and day of it just did it for me. I was I was hooked for life after that for all my gaming and those kind of online shooters. I picked up something else off the thrift shop. I wasn't sure what it was. It's a uh, clapped in torn down. So I'm not sure. I mean it's it's uh, CDs I guess I'm guessing and I thought it was I thought it was movies. I think it's um, okay. Yeah, this two movies so DVDs. And then some CDs. Big time Clapton fan. I mean, his live stuff's just great. But I've never actually seen this one before. I have no idea what this is. Um, Clapton torn down. So I wasn't sure. So I figured, you know, for a buck, I got this. And I got. I got that. And I got uh, this also with it. For like three bucks. I used to have these from my older son that I sold them. So I forgot I'm better get them back on it for just to have. I never had this one though. This Ultra Moon. I had the X and Y, but Pokemon no Ultra Moon. I didn't even show you and opened it up. How did I? Yeah, for three bucks. No brainer. I got a Hollow Man. Yep, still still for the PSP. So I didn't pay four ninety nine. Nope. I paid one dollar, and of course I gonna let this get bad boy go to waste. A little NASCAR unleashed game. This is also a dollar. Complete in box. So yeah, so those were this is a nice um, 
This is a nice thrift shop find. Couldn't beat it. Alright, um, did some Groupon, which I haven't done Groupon in ages. It's a funny thing, we were going traveling down to see my mom and family down in Florida, so that's why I tried those thrift shop things that was back home in Florida. But I ordered this, thinking it would be here in time so I could maybe play it on the road trip. And it, it showed up like two weeks after we got back. Go figure, no Groupon. But I got this finally. 35 bucks, 36 dollars. I figure a great deal. It's got Elephant Mario, which you know, my youngest, who's just turned 13, he's now a teenager officially. Ooh, it's hard to believe. He was always into elephants. I figured he'd want to play this, but he's pretty much, you know, dad, and I'm he's too old for Switch now. He's just out rolling. He's all about Xbox, playing Siege, and he got a meta quest for three for his, uh, birthday so he's I haven't seen him I haven't seen him much lately this weekend <laughs> it's out he's he's occupied but yeah so I, I'm getting two switch games two different spectrums obviously yeah so um these are the, the these are the latest I picked up I got these two recently just last um I won't this for a while. The price are getting kind of crazy, but I did manage to pick these up in a bundle. So I got Fantastar Universe and Magna Carta 2. They're not complete, which is kind of a bummer. I couldn't tell by the picture, but yeah. yeah so it's just disc and artwork only, but they're in great shape. Discs are great. I don't know if they even came with a. This is a weird case. I guess maybe at the worker case, but yeah. Even though the servers are down, you can still get all the achievements. This is a complete single player story mode of this, so it's cool. And this this is just getting outrageous, so I figured I'll get it now while I can. Bamco. You see that right there. Another one, Atlas and Bandai Nam Namco, Bandai Namco. So I got both of these for 45 bucks for the bundle. I fear I couldn't beat that. It's a fair price. I'm good with it. Um, another bundle from Akari, of all things. I got the... Uh, this came with it, just kind of a throw in, but you know what? You can see this out in the wild. It's crazy. I have a complete copy. I actually got from a yard sale five bucks. It came with the uh, story code unused. This is nuts what this thing goes for. Just because it's a popular IP and not very many discs are out there. So I got that. So that was like, that was like three bucks. I got this for the other four dollars, I think, plus shipping. This is like uh, DTA. And bully in uh, medieval times. <laughs> it's, not, it's not not very many. I mean, it was like bargain bin for the longest time, and then I couldn't find it anywhere, so I ended up buying it on Macari. I figure if it's getting harder to find now on Amazon, that's like not their party seller. I was gonna get it now while I can, cheap still. But man, it looks it seems pretty cool actually. It's just like you know, you see all, you know, all the characters there, but it's like bully and GTA set in the dark ages. It just calls mayhem. Figure why not? And now the the foosball is upon us. Best time of year is college football season. Did followed up by NFL. My Seminoles already had a rough week. Hopefully they can bounce back tomorrow. We'll see. Had to get this bad boy. Finally, it's like I can finally retire my. It's I don't see it right now. Finally retire my NCAA 14. Maybe this is pretty good game. Servers like all EA games are crap, but I don't want to care about online play. But I gotta open it. I'm opening it tonight and play. I've been playing the trial. Well, this is great. Great game. It's weird playing these games with all the actual player names for once. You, you see, I had to, I used to update my rosters. Up until last year, I had rosters updated last year on SWA 14 because of this. Now we have all the rosters updated for you. Another great one Truck Driver. This is a pretty fun dang game. It's like, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but yeah, you basically, you haul everything from like large cargo, uh, logs, fuel, other vehicles like boats and stuff, and you gotta basically go all over the map to a just destination point to get there without wrecking or, you know, running over the citizens. Pretty fun game. I actually like it. It's on my radar for a while, and I finally just said, you know what, I'm gonna buy it while I can. Another game, you don't, these games, 
you'll see them out there and they'll just kind of disappear or they'll go up high price because it's hard to get them again. Thought I had this game. I guess I didn't after all this time. I finally got it. Fair price. I got it for I think 22 bucks, which is still fair price. It's going up there. It's getting up there. Now that they're making the sequel, I figure I might as well grab it while I can. Start playing a little bit the other day. It's, it's had a lot of uh, inspiration from, I would say, Gears of War because you got the high behind cover kind of thing, but it's a nice shooter. A lot of Warhammer games out there. This is a really good series, Space Marine. And Space Marine 2 will be out here in a couple of months. But yet, another fun, another fun one to pick up. Yeah, I picked it up yet. Funny story, I have the other one. This is a Air Conflicts. I have one to Vietnam. This is a Secret War. So I wanted this one. So I bought it from Amazon used. And yep. I think I paid like nine bucks for it. This bad boy's new and sealed. So uh, I may open it. If you're on the plane, I'll wait till uh, wait till that time I kinda come, come to play it. But uh I'm probably gonna find like a used copy even in loose just to play the game because I mean this is actually factory seal with the Xbox seal on it. Another clip so game. These games are they get a little scarce. They're not rare, but they can do get scarce after a while. Like people kinda tend to buy them, or they just take them at the warehouse and bury them in the landfill with ET. You know, I don't know what happens to them. Something happens to them though. Another one I'm trying to find on my list. I got these two bad boys here. Got the Capcom digital collection just in time for the 360 store to go down. So some of these, I believe four of these are backward compatible. The other four are not. But the only way you can get them now is by this disc. You can still play them because you can't buy them on the store anymore, sadly. So I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a later later release, obviously. So, you know, it's got the on on disc manual. So that's complete. But yeah, I had, I had to get it. Just had to get this. Got some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool games. I mean, great variety. If you see this out there, you can get it for a fair price. I think I paid like twenty five. Just not bad. It's definitely going to go, go more expensive now that the store is closed till the till the, either the market dies down or just resellers get tired of trying to scalp every damn thing out there. But right now, resellers are just ruining the the hobby. It's horrible right now for 360. They ain't gotta been buying these games for like the last three four years to get a get a, kind of get ahead of it. And uh, they just finished up. Shout out to Florida. They just won the very first other Little League World Series down there, Lake Mary. So this is something pretty cool. Activision made this. It's the only, only one they had for the 360. World Series Baseball, uh, Little League World Series Baseball 2010. So, I mean. It's probably a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a more kid based game, obviously. We I mean, look at the graphics there, but still pretty cool. Another one that's a list. Get, my, get the uh, achievements out of it. And then I might might keep it. I might sell it. Never know. But one to the list. I wanted to add to the list. And I added it. So I'm happy with it. I've had, uh, it's funny, I've, I've, I've had Family Game Night 3 and 4. I've got multiple copies, actually. And I finally got the very first one. I was trying to find this for the longest time. I finally found a good deal that I was willing to pay for it. And this one here, another one that you can only get on the disc, especially now that the, that the store is closed, is uh, 2. This is, the only, this is the only way you can get Family Pack Game Night 2. It comes with 2 and 3 together as a mini pack, or a fun pack, I guess they call it, on one disc. So if you see the disc out there, it's the same thing. Um, it'll say Family Game Night, and right there it'll say Fun Pack. It's so random. You can buy 1, 3, and 4 physical separately, but this is the only way you can get uh, Family Game Night 2 is, is this one bundle, Fun Pack. So be on the lookout for it if you're looking for 360 games. Now, another assist, uh, another game for the uh, season coming up. We got a uh, NFL tour. Another, it's like a kind like of management game or so. I don't know if it's like the if it's supposed to be like a blitz kind of takeoff or so, but it's kind of a spin on uh, the NFL series, part of the EA Big Series. You know, and they were. That was the last time EA Sports was just making things that were just out of the ordinary and was great. You know, like the M the NBA Street Series and the SSX Series. So this is one they had also. Only, only one game in the series, though, but it's NFL Tour. It's kind of a arcade style. Not much as Blitz. Maybe it is. I don't know. But. Welcome to the list. 
I got another one since the one I had had a crack in the disc. I was kind of nervous about using that too much, so I went and found another copy for myself. That actually looks a little better. That case is a little loose, but yeah. Another great game by Bethesda Star Trek Legacy. Yep. They made other games back then. I really missed the 360 generation was the best generation for you know new IPs, new new risks on like new franchises. I mean Bethesda, they made they made this, they made a racing game also. It's a little different. I got to get a PS4 game. It's what I've been looking for. It's like a visual novel, but it's also a little more than a visual novel. It's like a visual novel with the twist, some interactive moments. This bad boy, from Spike Chunsoft. This is a 428 Shibuya Scramble. And, uh, yep, yeah, this is the, uh, it's the Peggy version, you know, but it still plays. It'll still work. I actually installed it on my, uh, PS5 already. So, yeah, it works fine. Since, uh, you know, PS4 and PS5 region free, which is nice for the most part. But yeah, I mean, it's. It's got like hours of like video footage and well as like real, real animated well uh, like dialogue but it, you're not just in there reading everything it's also um, you'll have like you know mysteries to solve puzzles that kind of stuff so it's more than just a plain visual novel definitely worth checking out if you're if you even like any of those kind of you know visual novel-esque games and really good story kind of games definitely worth checking out and it's it's getting a little hard to find, so if you can find it, pick it up while you can for a good price. I thought I had this game, didn't have it. I have, I have all the Naruto's, which I've never, it's kind of funny, I've never seen, actually seen them. But Dragon Ball Z, I only have two others. I have the, uh, the Raging Blast 2 and, um, Broken Bond, which is getting up there in value. This is uh, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. I thought I had it. I guess I didn't. So uh, I got this one now. If you see it, maybe see it a little better there. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Once again, Bandai Namco. Those games are getting kind of crazy right now. We got a game not about onions, but it's about Leia's. Like ogres, they have layers, and uh, this game that many layers are racing tracks. So it's a DreamWorks Super Star Karts, another game by Activision. You know they did more than just making Call of Duty all the time. So I got that bad boy. Another EA game that took chances on EA Create. This is like a kind of like Project Spore for the Xbox One. This is a 360 game though, and it's uh, so you can't get all achievements because all lines are obviously down. But you can get quite a few. You can still play it quite a bit. It's kind of like uh, a lot of the Sim style games. They kind of put into this kind of game, kind of put the spin on it. So this is a uh, phone keys trying to ring. I'm busy. Stop calling me. So this is another game I want to pick up. You can get it pretty cheap now. Get it while you can. This is uh my Sims Sky Heroes. Again, back with the old EA logo. So it's like a man, it's a, a kitty family game. It looks like a pretty fun little time kill. Why not? Let's see, I've got. Harry Potter's. So I thought I had all of them already, but I was always I was missing the one. So now I end up. This is a. Uh, what is this? Or I got Harry Potter or the Phoenix. Case kind of busted up. I got this in the bundle with uh, this in here that I already had. Half Blood Prince. Actually, wait, yeah, that's the one I already had. And then I forgot I ordered one from some other place that I got as well. So I got another copy. It's better condition of Order of the Phoenix. So, oh no, sorry. That's Deathly Hollows. So yeah, I got I got this in a bundle. I already had that one. That's part one and part two. That's part two there. 
And I got that with Hepla Prince, which I needed. This is the one I needed. Now I have all of them. And Order of the Phoenix. So I guess I needed. See, I, yeah, I, was, I went too far apart. I know I needed one of these. I may have gotten all three of these in the same bundle, I think. Maybe that's what it was. But yeah, I guess. So now I got all the Harry Potters. There's a total of. Not counting the Lego games. There's two Lego games. Four. There's four of these games? Five, because there's part one, part two, so there's five Harry Potter games. You know, all done by EA, all done really well. Really good storytelling games. Alright, now we're on to uh, another big hitter. It's getting kind of pricey. It's not complete, but I, I'll take it. It's Game and Case, which is good enough for me. That'd be, uh, look, another racer. This was by. Ubisoft of all things, import tour challenge. This is real. You know, it's def definitely taken on the you know, the Need for Speed Underground, but just, but really big into like the uh, Fast and the Furious games. So this is definitely what you want to look at, look for. If you can find it for a good price, I think it's it's getting up in like the 50, 60 range now. I may have paid like 40 for it since it wasn't complete, and that was probably my my ceiling of what I was going to pay for it. But it's, pr it's a pretty fun game too. So it's pretty good. Let's definitely get the price, which is crazy. And another one, surprisingly, this yeah, this is complete. Big Game Hunter Pro Hunt. This is getting to be like a twenty-five, thirty-dollar game right now, which is crazy. I got this for about maybe fifteen. So now I've got all the Cabela games. They're actually pretty fun. They're actually well done, surprisingly. So most of them are done by Activision. Yeah, it is Activision also, but they're actually well done. A lot of good branding. If you're a hunter, hey. Right? Shoot a bear, shoot a deer. Not pissing off PETA because you're shooting fake deer and stuff like that. So, but this game's getting up there. It's, I guess it's, it's one of the last ones they made, so like 2013, 2014. So it's uh, not as many copies, obviously, sold probably. And there's, there's still some more. <laughs> Alright, I've got uh, two more Xbox One games. I've got. Oh, Raiden 4. Deluxe Edition by NIS. This is, uh, what is this again? It's the remix. I can't remember what it's called. Remix? I can't read that in my glasses, but yeah. Raiden 4 Remix. Oh. Kakado Remix. It's got the classic. I believe it's got the classic and the o the arcade and some extra stuff all included in like a bundle or so. So I had to get that. I got it for a good price, but I, I wanted to have it either way. And, uh, a little, little Tour de France action. 2019 season. These games are actually kind of funny. Um, they're made by Big Ben, which is, you know, Wreck Fest, uh, Flat Out Series, I believe, or some of the older games, yeah, racing games. But yeah, pretty cool game. They're right there by the Alpha Tower, but yeah, it's right through the Arc Trois, all stuff. Basically, all the World Olympics were this past um, month. So, another one, very cheap, just wanted to have it, physical. And, uh, PS4 games here I picked up. Picked up. Uh, is this. Was it uh, Zinjian? I got this one. It's a PQ game. I believe it's Amazon. Some of these games get really cheap, so I'm like, just pick them up while you can, because some of these are really good games. This is, uh. I can't remember what. This is like a side scroller, if it's like a shooter. I don't remember now. I picked that one up. And like, lastly. Arcade Spirits. I got this pretty cheap off of uh, Amazon, surprisingly. So I know no, I played it before from the library, I believe. I was like, man, I want to go out and play it. It's kind of a cool visual novel, arcade, classic base kind of game or so. So it's got a pretty cool look to it. All right, and last but not least, is that, is that everything? I believe so. Yep, that's everything. We'll say it's everything. Limited run. I got the blind boxes again. I, th I thought they didn't have them. They this year they went from having them in the like January time frame to like uh, June or so. So I got I got this time I didn't get switched. I got one PlayStation Four, one PlayStation Five, PlayStation Five, and they came this. They actually came last week, about three days ago. So we got these now. So I'm opening these up here in a little bit. And we'll see what we got. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, busy month and a half. 
gotta slow down some though. Start playing some of these things instead of just collecting them. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Check this bad boy out too. See you next time. Thanks for watching.